Well, you found clarification from this conversation. You found clarification yeah. from this day. Did all of you find clarification from this day? Are you beginning to recognize the deliberateness with which you can live your life? Can you feel that we've talked too much about it? Can you feel that we reached a peak of understanding and it benefited everyone and now we're trying to over apply what we know to things that are none of our business can you feel that your work isn't to figure this out and then utilize it to understand all of the things about the world that you don't like it's to figure it out and then find vibrational alignment with who you are and attract the things that you do want can you feel that your work isn't to fix things that are broken because nothing is broken but to tune yourself to the frequency of who you are you realize that you can't go back we called you deliberately we wanted to have this conversation with you we appreciated every word you offered and we thought we were brilliant in our response to you <laughs> but can you feel how we would have all been better off without that conversation just in the sense that none of you are wobbling right now and so attention to things that do just feels off and unnecessary this is what makes Esther from time to time say well that was unpleasant and unnecessary this let's get in and fix the world let's get in and solve things let's rescue everyone let's take everyone from their place that they don't want to be and let's take them to a place where we think they might want to be and rescue them that's not who you are it never works it's not what you are about you are pure positive energy beings who have come forth into a focused environment with a mechanism to focus that is serving you enormously well you are pure positive energy who is still in the state of expansion which is true of all of us you represent the most expansive components of the universe you said I will expose myself to variety for the purpose of personally concluding new preferences and then I will line up with those preferences and we said and we will be right there with you and when you discover something that feels good to you we will be in on the discovery and we will hold the vibrational frequency of it knowing that your association with the frequency that we are not establishing but continuing that we are focusing upon and adding emphasis to is more likely to be rediscovered by you again and again because we are focused there and then you said I will reach for things that feel good I will reach for thoughts that feel good I will reach for words that feel good I will reach for actions that feel good and I will recognize the difference and I will tune myself incrementally to the furthest most reaching that we are together able to accomplish can you feel the perfection in this eternal dance that we are all upon you said there are things in the physical world that will inspire me to greater desire bless those things that inspire me to greater desire you didn't say "Uh oh clean it all up and then I'll go because you were stable you had no wobble you were fearless and rightly so you were confident and rightly so you were secure and rightly so you were happy and rightly so and it is right that you be all of those things again but since you have allowed yourself to be trained away from that now you are wanting to train yourself back into alignment with your stability with your clarity with your agility with your well-being with your prosperity with your fun with your humor with your well-being you see you just got to acknowledge you can't have it both ways if you come from source and source is good and you will return to source and source is good then in what world would it be a requirement to move away from the goodness that has been and will always be this is a misunderstanding of physical human consciousness and it comes from your association with others who are trying to convince you that in order for their world to be the way that they want it to be you need to do something you don't want to do in order to please them and that just is not so reach for thoughts that feel good and discover the win 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 factor in everything your sources are all intertwined 
Your sources have a network already established. Your sources know who you are and know who is best poised to satisfy themselves right here where they are in this mix of the whole. You will not win while someone else loses. You will not gain while someone else does not. It's not that way. This is a universe that is abundant to all. Things are always working out for you and things are always working out for everyone else. And someone does not have to be deprived of something for you to win. The resources are abundant enough and expansive enough. That's the most important thing to acknowledge. The resources are expanding proportionately to your desire. That's the thing that is the most interesting. Your life is causing an expansion, a huge expansion of resources containing all of the things that you desire. And now you've discovered how to line up with those things that you desire so that that expansion can move into your experience to the degree of your willingness to allow it to flow. Be easy about all of this. Be playful about it. Don't get into big controversial conversations with people. Let the things that trouble you most be the things that you really put on the back burner list. If someone says, I want to talk to you about that, take a feeling test and say, oh, no, that's bottom of my list. Well, that should be the most important thing on your list. No, it's on the bottom of my list. No, really, that should be the most important thing on your list. No, it's on the bottom of my list. Well, why is it on the bottom of your list? Because it feels the worst. I put the things on the bottom of my list that feel worse. I put the things on the top of my list that feel best. Well, you can't go around living life like that. Oh, yes, I can. You just watch me. You just watch the leverage and abundance that comes my way. When I follow the path of least resistance, when I follow the path of most allowance, when I follow the path of most alignment, when I follow the path of most joy, when I follow the path of most good feeling, when I follow the path of most clear mindedness, when I follow my path of clarity, when I follow my path of well being, when I follow my path of good feeling thoughts, I discover my path of good feeling words. When I follow my path of good feeling words, I discover my path of good feeling co creation. When I follow my path of good feeling co-creation, I discover my path of never ending fun and joy. You see, this world is rampant with those like you who want to feel good, who are eager to come and play with you at whatever level you want to play with them. We've enjoyed this interaction more than words can convey. It is good to come together to co-create. It's good to be an extension of source energy. It's wonderful to be you in your physical bodies. It's wonderful to be us in your physical bodies. It's wonderful to be you exploring the variety. It's wonderful to be us aware of you exploring the variety. It's wonderful to be you aligning with us. It's wonderful to be us aligning with you. It's good to see the world through your eyes from our vibrational vantage point. It's good for you to see the world through your eyes from our vibrational vantage point. Everything is perceptual. Everything is. And perception is only about vibration. That's all it is. You know that. Get eyewitnesses reporting something. The variety of versions of the same story are remarkable. Because it isn't about what they saw. It's about where their vibration was when they saw it. There's great love here for you. And as always, we remain eternally in your vortex.